Along with a flood watch, Tropical Storm Gordon has the Missouri Highway Patrol concerned about heavy rainfall in the Ozarks now over the next couple of days. And tonight, they're warning about flash flooding potential over roads. So this is just the remnants that's making its way mm -hmm. up to Missouri. What can we expect with it? Well, I mean, it looks like parts of the area will see a lot of rain. Now, not everybody is going to see the flooding rainfall, but there's going to be a pretty good chunk that has that potential. And it looks like that focus for flooding rains would be Friday afternoon through Friday night into Saturday morning, especially east of Springfield and especially along and maybe south of I-44 down into northern sections of Howell County, maybe even northern sections of Oregon County. This triangle right in here looks to be the prime spot for the heaviest rain. Now, flood watches are in effect for areas north of the state line and east of I-49. This is through Saturday evening. Right now, we're just sort of getting a teaser. We've had these spotty, tropical tropical like downpours throughout the afternoon. We're going to find them throughout the night tonight and into Friday morning, but they are going to be very spotty in nature. That means that the potential for them to produce uh, any flooding types rains is it's going to be pretty low because they don't last very long, although the rain does come down very hard for a brief time. In fact, we're finding that right now in Houston, and we've also got some heavier showers moving across. Ava also notice the direction that these showers are moving a little against what we normally think that west to east motion that most of the shower and thunderstorm activity takes across the area. These showers are actually moving from east to west and they're not producing much in the way of lightning. In fact, here's a loop of the last hour. We did have a few stronger showers off to the east that were producing some lightning. Those have uh, since kind of died down, but still producing some locally heavy rains. Here's the center of Gordon near Little Rock. And as Gordon hooks up with the stalled out front that is uh, draped over uh, north central Arkansas and South Central and Southeast Missouri, this is going to be a good setup for heavy rainfall potential. And this area you see shaded in dark green, stretching from about Springfield east northeast across the St. Louis area into Illinois. And I think there's probably going to be even a stripe uh, north of the St. Louis area in Illinois. That's where we're going to have the greatest chance for heavy rain, the type of rain that could produce some flash flooding. It looks now like this storm is going to move out of the area quicker than earlier anticipated. So I would would expect the rain while it may continue into Saturday morning over the eastern Ozark should shut down quickly thereafter with uh, at least less rainfall as we head into Saturday afternoon. Our hour by hour forecast again spotty showers overnight tonight into Friday morning. The rain will become more concentrated Friday afternoon, especially in areas from Springfield along I-44 and south of I-44 down toward West Plains and Alton. And notice how this rain peels out of the area Saturday morning. Clouds will linger and some light showers or drizzle will linger into the afternoon on Saturday, but the flooding threat will be over. In terms of rainfall amounts, it looks like the rain will be lightest over western Missouri along I-49 and in northwest Arkansas, generally an inch or less. You can get those isolated higher amounts, but generally an inch or less here in Springfield, in areas to the north and east, generally one to three inches, but there will likely be a pocket in here, maybe from about the interstate down across Texas County into Shannon County that could see as much as three to five inches with locally higher amounts possible. And that's where I think, again, we could see the greatest chance for some flash flooding uh, Friday night into early Saturday. Temperatures are also going to be very fall like 71 and breezy on Saturday for a high on Sunday. Clouds will remain high of 72 temperatures creeping higher once we get some sun back in the area next week. Big taste of fall, though, just for the weekend, it looks it, like. It, it really will feel and look like fall outside on Saturday, especially. Okay, and our viewers club number tonight. Uh, that number tonight is 210-842. Uh, our jackpot stands at $300. Oh, Jamie, thanks. And still ahead.